A lot of people left shivering over the weekend. The cold snap combined with people losing their heat resulting in some very busy companies. News 8 Stephanie Simone here now with more on that problem this midday. Good afternoon, Steph. Hi, Keith. It can be heartbreaking to hear from people who do not have heat, especially when there are children in the home. There's so much work for heating technicians and oil delivery companies. They're having trouble keeping up. Record breaking low temperatures, plus folks losing heat equals. So many calls coming in one after the other after the other. That's because Wayne Crosno owns Branford's Air Incorporated. All of his technicians are on call right now. He let them know in a group text pep talk. The thing that I put in the text was, we are the first responders to help these people. And I think that gave everybody that big chest. And they all came in and they were all happy to work. Folks throughout the state woke up without heat over the weekend. Some burned right through their heating oil. Others have their furnace on the fritz. We stocked up on electric heaters for customers just in case we couldn't um, get them heat right away. And we plowed people out so we can get to their driveway. And it's pretty, pretty busy. So are oil companies. Some folks are forced to wait days to get their tank filled. For the future, Krasno has some advice. In the fall, have your heating system maintained. Hindsight is 2020, right? Now, if you are low on oil, there is a way of putting diesel from the gas station in your home heating tank, but you need to ha know how to put it in there properly, and it will cost you more. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Simone, back to you, Keith.